Hello, this is Silver Moon Dro, and I'm going to show you guys how to do something cool with a Game Boy, Pokemon Yellow, a speaker, and an auxiliary cord. So, get the game started up. I have it set on mono for right now, but that's going to change. Oh, how did that silver bit get on my finger? Well, hand. But what else? I assume you guys can hear that alright, too. Pretty loud. Now, continue. For this, I picked out special performance, Lavender Town. This is it, in its mono. Now, you hook up the speaker. Since it's on mono, same old Lavender Town. But, listen to what happens when I change it to earphone one. Half of it is missing. Doesn't sound that creepy at all, does it? Surprisingly enough though, the speakers of low enough quality that when I hook it up to my Game Boy it actually makes less sound than the Game Boy does. But there you have that. Then we do earphone two. Yet again, it's missing about half. This one just seems to be the beat. Then we go to earphone three, which is the half that was missing from earphone one. So, there you have it. That's how to do awesome stuff using a single speaker, an auxiliary cord, your Game Boy, and Pokemon Yellow. The reason why this works is because speakers are either left or right speakers, so they pick up either the left or right halves of sound when it's in stereo. Or in this game's calling of it, earphone because the Game Boy doesn't have two speakers, it goes in mono. Then once you add in a second side, that goes in stereo. So, when you only have one speaker plugged in, and it's a left or right speaker, it will play one half on earphone one, one half on earphone three, and from what I can tell, it will play the just the rhythm bit when you have it on earphone too. Which I think is pretty awesome. So, there you guys have it. Mmm, Silver Moon Drop signing out.